Okay, let's format this text for a resume. The first thing I'm going to do is make the column a little bit narrower, because this is usually a narrow column. And I want to do sort of a hanging indent so that these dashes are all the same, but the text follows this indent here. I could actually choose to put the second or third or however many lines in a bit more. We can do that all in the paragraph palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is uncheck the hyphenate box just to make sure I don't accidentally, accidentally get hyphenation, which is pretty bad news in, in a list like this. I'm then going to add a space after with this box here. So the number of this is going to vary depending on your type size. I'm just using default 12 point type and 14 for letting. Um, so if you're using smaller type, this is going to be a smaller number. Um, but visually, I like the way this looks. I'm then going to increase the entire left indent. So this is the left indent of all the lines at once. I'll click that twice. And then I'm actually going to put a negative number on the first line indent. And we'll see that move back out. So that now I have this nice alignment here. Um, so I could tweak this a little, little more. I could increase that left side indent and then decrease the first line and it would be indented a bit more. In a longer list where you, these actually take a few pages, yeah, you know, you might want to uh, do this sort of stacked look. Um, I'm going to undo twice and go back to where I was. I'm also going to look for line length, so I want to get rid of that client widow. And you can also see when I make this short, that hanging indent stays intact and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to expand that until all the text fits in there, just for this purpose. So I'd like to get rid of materials, um, but I can work on that with type size and things later.